Guys, Marvel is officially back in the game, and I've got some incredible news that I never thought I'd be sharing with you. This includes the return of Robert Downey Jr. Over the past few weeks, we've been talking a lot about Deadpool and Wolverine. Hugh Jackman's comeback, Deadpool's return, but now they're in Mickey's house dropping F-bombs with Disney's blessing. And now with Robert Downey Jr. making a comeback, along with the return of the Russo brothers. This opens the door for a potential Chris Evans return. Why not? Maybe even Scarlett Johansson coming back. Who knows? Let's dive into today's hot news. Here we go. The Russo brothers are set to direct Avengers 5 and 6, and Robert Downey Jr. will be playing Dr. Doom with this iconic photo to prove it. We'll get into more details about that. The MCU's Fantastic Four reboot gets a new title, and characters are confirmed for the upcoming Avengers sequels. Also, Giancarlo Esposito's role in Captain America 4 has been officially revealed. While I take a sip of my coffee, drop a comment below. I already know, but which piece of news shocked you the most? Let me know in the comments. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. The Russo brothers are set to direct Avengers 5 and 6, and Robert Downey Jr. will portray the villain Doctor Doom. Folks, it looks like the recent rumors are actually true. After reports suggesting Joe and Anthony Russo might direct the next two Avengers sequels, it's been confirmed that they're indeed returning as directors for these highly anticipated MCU films. And that's not all. There's even bigger news. Robert Downey Jr. is coming back to Marvel, but not in the way most people expected. He's playing the big bad Doctor Doom. Now you know the drill. And today we've got a double question for you. Drop a comment below on whether you think Robert Downey Jr. has returned as Victor Von Doom will be a hit or if he should have come back as Iron Man instead. Also, let us know if you're excited about the Russo brothers' return. The guys behind blockbusters like Avengers, Infinity War, Avengers, Endgame, and Captain America the Winter Soldier. Let's keep this fun conversation going in the comments section. Don't forget to like and share the link, join our Telegram and WhatsApp groups, and spread the word to all the Marvel and DC fans out there. All right, thanks everyone. Let's keep going. During Marvel Studios' panel at San Diego Comic-Con, it was officially announced that the Russo brothers will be directing both upcoming Avengers sequels. It was revealed that Avengers 5 has been renamed to Avengers Doomsday. Along with this announcement came the shocking news that Iron Man actor Robert Downey Jr. will be playing the supervillain Victor Von Doom in the film. It's not clear yet whether he'll be called Victor Von Doom or if he'll be playing some alternate version of Tony Stark, but it's definitely the role of Victor Von Doom, also known as Doctor Doom. This film will be followed by Avengers Secret Wars, the fifth Avengers film was initially announced with the title Avengers The Kang Dynasty. After legal issues involving actor Jonathan Majors, who played Kang in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, reports surfaced that Avengers 5 would be getting a new title. The revelation that the film is now called Avengers Doomsday with Downey Jr. as Doctor Doom confirms that Kang has been removed as the main villain in the upcoming Avengers films, putting another major supervillain in the spotlight. Who knows, maybe Kang could even return with a different actor just to be defeated by Doctor Doom, right? So he shows up, Doctor Doom comes along, outsmarts him, steals his technology. This has happened multiple times in the comics. Robert Downey Jr. is making a comeback to the Marvel superhero world after five years, but not as Iron Man, the role that launched the successful franchise. The announcement was a major event in Hall H, the historic venue where the most influential studios make big reveals at Comic-Con every year. The stage was packed with masked and hooded figures, making it tough to guess who was playing Doom the Fantastic Four's longtime nemesis. So even though he'll show up in the Avengers, he's really a major Fantastic Four villain. Then, one of the masked men stepped forward and dramatically removed his mask, revealing himself to be Robert Downey Jr. 
He raised his arms, recreating a famous scene from the original Iron Man movie where Tony Stark showcases his company's weapons, tying into Marvel's hugely successful launch and Tony's darker side. Drop a comment below. This might be a hint, right? That he'll actually be playing a Tony Stark who made terrible life choices and ended up becoming this big bad guy. The actor will make his return as Dr. Victor Von Doom, a prominent villain in the comics that gave rise to the popular film series. Downer Jr. will appear in Avengers Doomsday, set to release in May 2026, and in another film titled Secret Wars a year later. Who knows? He might obviously show up in other films too, just like Thanos did with his special appearances, giving that presence, that connective tissue between the films that we all love so much. Speaking to reporters, Robert said, I enjoy playing complex characters. The audience went wild. There's been a lot of speculation recently about Downer Jr. returning to the MCU, but as a resurrected Iron Man. Well, not exactly resurrected, but from an alternate timeline. And yet, in some ways, Robert Downer Jr.'s return seems inevitable. Marvel will certainly compensate him handsomely, you know, big bucks. But the actor has already made so much money from Marvel movies that it seems he's coming back either because he misses it or because he believes they're ruining what he helped build. And like Iron Man, he must return to save it. Plus, He's already proven himself outside of Marvel. He won an Oscar for Best Actor for his role in Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer. Why is the Russo brothers' return to the Marvel Cinematic Universe so important? The next two Avengers movies were just announced at Comic-Con, but they were actually first revealed back at Comic-Con 2022. They're set to close out Phase 6 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. At the time, it was Avengers, the Kang Dynasty, originally slated to premiere on May 1st, 2026, and Avengers Secret Wars on May 7th, 2027. The Kang Dynasty is no longer in production, since Jonathan Majors, who played the new mega-villain Kang, is now out of the picture. The actor was found guilty of reckless assault and harassment in his domestic violence trial by a six-person jury in New York. If you want to know more, let me know in the comments. I've already made some videos about this, so I can send you the link. Marvel fired the actor after that. The Russo brothers mentioned at the premiere of The Gray Man in July 2022 that Secret Wars was the only series they loved as kids. It's incredibly ambitious. They said it would be even bigger than Infinity War and Endgame, which is what they've been talking about the most lately. The Russo brothers have directed four of the biggest films in Marvel history. Avengers, Endgame made $2.79 billion. It's the second highest grossing movie of all time. It was actually the first, but then Avatar was re-released and took the top spot. They could re-release Avengers. Endgame again to put it back in first place. Avengers Infinity War made $2.05 billion. Captain America. Civil War grossed $1.15 billion, while Captain America. The Winter Soldier brought in $714.4 million. With all this information, it's clear that the Russo brothers returned to the MCU, along with Robert Downey Jr.'s comeback promises to redefine the Avengers' future in an epic way, in my opinion. The shocking twist of seeing Robert Downey Jr. as the iconic villain Victor Von Doom in Avengers Doomsday not only surprised us, but also reignited our excitement for Marvel movies. This shows that Marvel is ready to innovate and surprise us, even after so many years of success and a few recent setbacks. So what do you guys think about this new direction? Are you pumped to see Downey Jr. in such a drastically different role? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'm eager to hear your opinions. If you found this news interesting, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. The MCU's Fantastic Four reboot gets a new title and characters are confirmed for upcoming Avengers sequels. Hey folks, a new title has been announced for the next Fantastic Four movie, which is part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. During the Marvel Studios panel at San Diego Comic-Con, it was revealed that the film's title will be 
the Fantastic Four First Steps. To kick things off, let us know in the comments if you're pumped to see Pedro Pascal and the Fantastic Four taking on Galactus, the big bad from this movie, and the 60s comics. What are your expectations for this new chapter? If you're digging this title, The Fantastic Four First Steps, Let's keep this fun conversation going in the comments. Don't forget to like and share the link to this video in your WhatsApp and Telegram groups with your Marvel loving friends and maybe even send it to those DC fans you're not so fond of. Just kidding. I like Marvel. I like DC. I like everyone. But let's send this to everyone so they feel in the loop. Thanks. Let's continue. The title announcement came while many believed the new film would simply be called The Fantastic Four. Director Matt Shackman revealed the title after showing an initial teaser to fans present at the Hall H panel. This video is already on YouTube, but I'm not going to risk my channel, which after all is how I make my living by posting pirated content and potentially losing my monetization or getting my channel banned. But here's a tip. Search online and on YouTube and you'll find it. It's incredible. Joining Shockman were the main cast members of the Fantastic Four, including Pedro Pascal as Reed Richards, Vanessa Kirby as Sue Storm, a.k.a. the Invisible Woman, Joseph Quinn as Johnny Storm, the Human Torch, and Eben Moss Bachrock as Ben Grimm, who is the Thing. Additionally, it was announced at San Diego Comic Con that the Fantastic Four will be part of the upcoming Avengers sequels. It was also revealed that the Thunderbolts characters will appear in the film. Wow, that's pretty wild, isn't it? As they say, as Pablo Pejoto would say, after rumors that the Russo brothers were being considered to direct, it was confirmed that the filmmaking duo will helm the Avengers sequel. The first of the two films will be called Avengers Doomsday and will feature Robert Downey Jr. in the role of Doctor Doom. So, what do you think about this news, or do you think Marvel is getting desperate? Or both? Leave your comments below. The second film will be Avengers Secret Wars. Now, here's an important point. Pedro Pascal may have dropped a major spoiler about the Fantastic Four's first mission. Recently, Pedro Pascal shared an on-set image with his co-stars, captioning it, Our First Mission. The film will be set in an alternate timeline during the 1960s. While many plot details are still under wraps, we do know that Galacto will be the villain played by Ralph Inesso. Let me know in the comments. Do you think they should introduce such a major villain right from the first movie or should they start with something smaller? Either way, drop your thoughts in the comments below. Also joining the cast in mysterious roles are Paul Walterhauser, Natasha Lian and John Malkovich. I've covered all of this before on the channel. If you want to check out those videos, just search the channel or leave a comment and I'll send you the link directly. Julia Gardner will portray a female version of the Silver Surfer. Kevin Feige, Marvel's head honcho, recently commented on the start of filming. We kicked off filming at the end of July. The day after San Diego Comic-Con is the first day of shooting for the Fantastic Four. Confirming that the film will be a period piece, Kevin Feige also said, It's like the Jacksons, folks. Those who are old enough know what I'm talking about, right? It's like, it's a future. It's a past that looks like the future because they're way ahead of their time. That's basically it, isn't it? The Fantastic Four. First Steps will hit theaters on July 25th, 2025. So folks, after everything we've seen about the new Fantastic Four movie, in my opinion, it feels like there's a lot of great stuff coming our way, don't you think? With Pedro Pascal leading the cast, an alternate 60s timeline, a villain as big as Galactus, expectations are through the roof. And we'll also have heavyweight actors like John Malkovich and Julia Gardner joining in, which only adds to the excitement. I'm really pumped to see how these new elements will play out on screen and how the Fantastic Four will fit into the upcoming Avengers sequels. Now, I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about these updates? Drop your expectations and theories about what might happen in the comments below. If you found this news interesting, 
give it a like, share it around, and don't forget to subscribe. Giancarlo Esposito's role in Captain America for Brave New World is officially revealed. Folks, actor Giancarlo Esposito is making his Marvel Cinematic Universe debut in Captain America, Brave New World, as previously teased in a trailer for the film. And it was quite an impressive trailer, I must say. Let us know in the comments if you enjoyed the trailer. While his role wasn't initially disclosed, the Breaking Bad star has now officially revealed who he'll be playing in the movie. But first, as you might have guessed, drop a comment below if you're excited to see Giancarlo Esposito in the MCU and what you think about him being cast as the film's villain. Don't forget to like and share this video link in your WhatsApp group so your friends can stay up to date on this news. And hey, send it to your DC fan friends too. Esposito took part in the Marvel Studios panel at San Diego Comic-Con due to his role in the fourth Captain America film. He announced that he'll be playing Sidewinder, the King of the Serpent Society, which means he's the head honcho of the Serpent Society. This came after Esposito recently teased that no one had correctly guessed his role following his reveal in the Captain America teaser trailer. It's quite intriguing, actually. I've watched and analyzed this trailer, and I've made a video about it here on the channel. Be sure to check it out later. But I enjoyed the trailer. What about you guys? Did you get that Captain America, the Winter Soldier vibe from it? Which, in my opinion, is the best Captain America movie and one of Marvel's finest. Drop a comment below if you agree with me on this. Giancarlo Esposito, famous for his role in Breaking Bad, is all set to enter the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He's also part of the boys universe. And he's in the Star Wars universe too, so he's truly an incredible actor. During San Diego Comic-Con, the actor revealed that he'll be playing Sidewinder, the King of the Serpent Society, in the upcoming film. Esposito's role was kept under wraps until recently, generating a lot of buzz among fans. Previously, Esposito commented, I'm playing a tough-as-nails character, acting in the MCU on something that's both contemporary and based on iconic comics is incredibly significant. Developing this character in line with his origins is a fascinating journey for me. Those were the actor's words. In Marvel Comics, Coral first appeared in Marvel 2-in-1, issue 64, back in 1980. Created by Mark Grunewald and Ralph Macchio, the character, whose real name is Seth Volker, gained teleportation abilities after a chemical mutation. He used these powers to become a villain and founded the Serpent Society, a snake-themed criminal organization. Hey folks, drop a comment below, alright? Check this out, the creator's name is Ralph Macchio. I know, I think it's not the same guy, but isn't that the name of the lead actor from Cobra Kai, who also played Daniel LaRusso in the Karate Kid movies? I'm not saying it's him, but it's the exact same name. Ralph Macchio, let me know what you think in the comments. That just popped into my head. Besides the Esposito reveal, Marvel Studios dropped a new trailer for Captain America, Brave New World which as of recording this video hasn't been released on YouTube yet. In the trailer, Harrison Ford appears as Thunderbolt Ross, referencing the events of Eternals and hinting at his character's transformation into the Red Hulk. Harrison Ford also participated in the Marvel panel at Comic-Con and was very well received by the audience. I'm not talking about the trailer I analyzed earlier. I'm referring to a special trailer shown to the lucky fans at the Comic-Con event. Anthony Mackie returns as the new Captain America following the events of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, the Disney Plus series. With the passing of the shield from Steve Rogers and Chris Evans to Sam Wilson and Anthony Mackie, the film will also feature Liv Tyler and Tim Blake Nelson reprising their roles as the Hulk's ex-girlfriend and Samuel Stearns, who is the leader, respectively. Directed by Julius Ona, Captain America Brave New World is written by Malcolm Spellman, Dallin Musson, and Matt Wharton, with Kevin Feige and Nate Moore producing. The film is scheduled to hit theaters on February 12, 2025.
With all these exciting developments, in my opinion, it's clear that Captain America Brave New World has everything it takes to be a landmark in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I absolutely love the atmosphere of espionage and distrust, which obviously harkens back to Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Giancarlo Posita playing the villain brings a new dimension to the cast, while the return of beloved characters and the introduction of iconic figures like Red Hulk raise the anticipation even higher. Marvel has managed to bring together a powerhouse cast and a story rich in comic book details, guaranteeing plenty of action and emotion for the fans. So, are you guys excited to see Giancarlo Posita in the role of the villain? What do you think of the new Captain America? Leave your comments and share your expectations for this highly anticipated film. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can now see recommendations for our next videos on your screen. It totally makes sense for you to check them out. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.